This poem was inspired by a, a float trip that my husband and I took years ago uh, on the current river. Um, we spent two and a half hours in the sun in an inner tube. So this is what came out of that. It's called Leaf Journey. Leaf lazily glides on water surface, flows with current over river's path, dances, twirls, bobs into the eddy, finally catches, clings to root, adding to habitat sustenance. Okay. Philip Beck, are you here? And then next will be Keely Blozer. Hopefully I said that right. Thank you. Delighted to be here. <clears throat> My poem is called Moving Day, and it's inspired by many, many moving days. <laughs> um, everyone asks, did it go smoothly? Things will fall downstairs, out doorways, away from where they had been. Your life follows. It is uprooted, but gains space. The world wants you back. Take its offer. Move. Is Keeley here? No, all right, we'll skip then to Alex Bowman. Are you here? Nope. Nancy Braun. And then after Nancy will be Johnny Bryan. Broken Hearts. 70 degrees rides in on February's back, kisses the forsythia bush with its warm mustache and cagey promises, brazen with treachery and lies. Okay, Johnny Bryan. And then after Johnny will be Charlotte Brookins. I'm here to read my, today my poem for water. Water flows quiet and clear across a rippled space, holding light to throw it back in fractured and streaming rays. Is Charlotte Brookins here? All right, come on up. Saltwater eyes. Give me your oceans, and I will give you me and mine. Clean the salt from my face, or let it trickle down and mingle with yours, and with you, and I will too. Okay, next I have Izzy Brown. Is she here? Izzy? No. Dan Campion. All right. And then after Dan will be Aaron Chen. If at the end you were supposed to be on the list and I didn't call your name, please raise your hand and I'll also call you up. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure and a privilege to be here and uh, share poetry. Uh, my poem is uh, pretty much straight reportage of what I witnessed uh, one day, much like today, on a tree outside my study uh, window. Relic. The Cooper's Hawk, in dining on a smaller bird, was delicate perched on an ash tree limb. She delved respectfully and took each bit, one might say, sacramentally. 
it almost seemed an act of love to bear the wishbone of the dove. Is Aaron here? All right, thanks, Aaron. And after Aaron is Mario. Um, this poem is inspired by Night in the Museum. Have you ever wondered what happens in classrooms at night when you are gone, but your stuff sits tight? Well, this is a story about all the things they do. Maybe today you'll learn something new. When the teacher closes the door and leaves for the day, a whole new world makes its way. The computers light up the room, the chairs hum a tune, the desks dance while the erasers prance. The books walk as the pens talk. All around the room they go, laughing and chatting until bright and early in the morning when the door gives a warning. Okay, after Mario will be David Door. David Door. Am I saying that right? Close. Close Thank you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you for inviting me to this event, and I'm um, excited to read for everyone. Uh, this poem is inspired by um, just that sense of the wonder of spring coming after winter. At the birth of spring in Iowa City, Cardinals sing wet tweets to each other. A robin, like a wind-up toy, hops. The fingertips of the sun warm my face. On the street, ice and snow rivulet. Everything meets at the river, rising. David, and then Ting Gao. Thank you. Um, uh, apple butter, I guess, is a literal uh, symbol in this poem. And I wanted to emphasize that it's literal because I brought uh, some of this year's apple butter um, from, uh, from a tree at Walgreens Drugstore on the corner of um, First Avenue and Muscatine. Whoever would like it at the end, come and ask me for it. <laughs> apple butter. These apples fallen from October sky and glean from the lawn of some business like love salvaged from the everyday after discarding all extraneous parts. And in time, cooked down, cooked down, darkened with spices from far isles and translated into simple goodness. Thank you. Is Ting here? Come on up. And then after that will be Cecile Godding. To the ash tree outside my window, bare skin frosted with moss, red frostbitten fingers splayed towards the sun. The coming of spring suits you, my dear. Put on your coat of fresh green and follow me into the warmth. Thank you. After Cecile will be Rowan. This poem is to my parents who died just within a few months of each other. Dearly departed, if I sketch you on a dock overlooking the marsh facing the almost dark, you never stay put for long, but slip into the shallows where you swim lazily for a space before going where I cannot. Is Rowan here? Oh, okay. Next, Evelyn. After Evelyn will be Morgan. The night sky. Every evening, as bright blue becomes deep purple, the sky is brought to life. The moon reflects the sun's light to ease the pitch-black darkness. 
Shooting stars bounce across constellations like skipping stones. Then the night sky grows weary and the sun returns to its throne until once again blue becomes purple. Morgan. And after Morgan is Larry Marsh. Hi there, um, my name is Morgan, and the title of this poem is called Summer Worms After a Long Rain. I remember summer worms after a long rain, and even in the midst of the downpour, we would run out to the road in our coldest sack with just a five-gallon bucket in the hope of tomorrow's catch in our stomachs. The air smelled wet with the earth spilling over like our laughter from our mouths. Larry. Is Larry here? Hello. This is a short poem I wrote uh, in a meeting where a lot of restless children were there. After about a half hour, the children left, and uh, uh, you can see. Once the children leave, the sound of the kitchen clock reaches out to touch me on the shoulder. Is Evie here? After Evie is Leo. The truth. Wednesday night. Mom wasn't around when I needed her. Maybe it's better that way. Because underneath, under the surface, I had no idea what would happen that night. Leo, and then after Leo is Noella. Hello. Uh, this poem is, the inspiration for this was um, the fires in California and empty promises. As the world burns around us, they tell me to make a better tomorrow, though tomorrow never comes. As the moon climbs the sky, replacing the sun, tomorrow turns to today, and we do nothing but sit and watch as the world burns around us and slowly turns to ash. Noella. And after Noella is Annabelle. When it is a rainy day, do not stay inside. If people ask you, why won't you get dry? Just say getting wet is fun. Is Annabelle here? Okay. Sam Piper. So I'm guessing Jack Piper is also not here. All right. Stella Shipman. All right, after Stella is Sylvia and Anna Stone. Winter Joy. <clears throat> Snowflakes fall like cashmere quilts as we lay asleep, curled and tapping warm ceramic. Winter Joy we keep. <clears throat> Sylvia and Anna. And then after that is Moss Stutzman. Uh-oh. Where's our poem? Oh, wait. Can you see that? Okay, right there. Earth. Earth is our home. Home is a place where you are loved. Love is love and you can't break it. Promises should be kept, too. People you care for are the ones you need. People, People are your home, home like, like the earth is our home. home. Okay. 
Okay, Moss. And then Christina. This is, I wrote this at school, and and it's just about a frog. I, I don't know why. I just thought it would be funny. <laughs> it's directed towards younger audiences, though, so yeah. Frog in a bog, on a log, and the frog has a tea party, and he makes the cakes. Frog's home is a log, and frog's log is in the bog. When Frog has a tea party, he invites all his friends when they come to the bog to see Frog's log. The bog has many bugs that are perfect for Frog's bug pie. He bakes in his log in the bog. Frog is happy in the bog with his log and bug pies. Is Christina here? Come on up. And so Christina was the last one I had on my list, but if you're here to read your poem and you're not on my list, please come over here and I'll introduce you after Christina. Hi, everyone. Uh, really happy to be here. Super nervous, so I'm just going just gonna to do it. Um, after writing this, I wrote another four lines that have um, been very kind to let me recite to you as well, so you won't see them displayed, but they're coming. Um, Oh, I'm shaking. Y'all made this look so easy. This wasn't. Okay, here we go. All right, time. <sighs> okay. I don't know where time has gone. Perhaps across the meadow. Frolicking among the daisies. Unaware of shadow. Or maybe there is no time. And we are merely ghosts. Choosing whether to believe or live alone is most. Thank you. <laughs> Is there anyone else who would like to read? Okay. Well, we whipped through the... Oh, you have one more reader. Sorry. Come on up. Bunch of readers. What's your name? One moment. Olive Miller. Tiny spider, his eyes like glitter. He was no killer, but he was a thriller. He had to retire, but he was the critter. This is Vivian. My beliefs. I believe in creativity, ideas spilling out of my head. I believe in music, notes cascading across a page creating a masterpiece. I believe in determination, not giving up and working for what you want. I believe in family, greeting you with a warm smile in the morning. I believe in love, people there for you when you need it most. I believe in tradition, again and again, family, together. I believe in hope, a tiny light inside of everyone. Aria Whalen. Dentist. Oh, how I dread the dentist. They yank, they pull, they twist our tooth around. Oh, how I dread the dentist! and Charlotte Harvey. The color of crimson may seem very hot, but if you look closely, it really is not. Crim crimson represents berries that shine in the sun, and it looks like a flower that shows us its love. So if you look closely, if you look closely crimson is not bad, but if maybe you won't, and that would be sad. <laughs> All right, thank you all again for coming. Like I said, um, if you haven't picked up your posters yet, they may be in the back. And we have another poetry event in here at 1 p.m. with our state's poet laureate and our student poet ambassador. Also, at Merge, which is right around the construction, is our local author book fair. We invite you to come to that as well. Thanks. You can grab poetry and public flyers and book festival programs on the side. <laughs>